The Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, on July 30th, threatened the military junta in Niger of a military invasion, among other actions, if the overthrown democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, is not reinstalled. The decision taken at an emergency meeting convened by ECOWAS chairperson, who is also Nigeria's president, Bola Tinebu, was made by stiff criticism from the coup plotters and their counterparts from Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. Since the threat was issued, stakeholders have been mediating to ensure that the detained president is released and allowed to steer the affairs of the country. Addressing members of the diplomatic corps in the Nigerian capital, Abuja, the permanent secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Adamu Lamua, has said military intervention would be the last option if every mediation fails. Use of force is the last resort, and we hope we don't get there. Every situation comes with its own solution, and Nigeria has not sent military to Niger. The permanent secretary also spoke on the level of mediation as well as other sundry issues. A separate delegation led by Ambassador Babagana Kingibe was mandated to engage with the leaders of Libya and Algeria on the matter. These de deployments, according to President Tinubu, are to ensure a conclusive and amicable resolution of the situation in Niger for the purposes of African peace and development. ECOWAS has ordered nations bordering Niger to show their air and land borders, which did not go down well, with the junta who promised to return military force with force. CNN News.